show you guys what my father and myself picked up today at an estate sale. And believe it or not, there was an estate sale on a Monday, of all things. And it was run by this real nice lady. Uh, her name is uh, Miss Jessie Jane. You can follow her on Instagram. She runs a pink, pink estate sales. So I'll show you guys some of the things that my father and myself picked up today. So the first thing is this really cool Battle of the Bulge vintage World War II battle game from 1965 and it has all of the pieces inside it comes with um, a bunch of blue and pink pieces along with the original instructions manual and then there is a game board that folds out and this was also significant to me because my late grandfather had fought in the Battle of the Bulge on the American side. After that is I picked up this uh, vintage game from Parker Brothers called Snapshot. It's from 1972 and it has a series of cards. It's like a memory game and um, chips that you use for that. Moving over here is a uh, vintage uh, magic card trick game. It comes with the original instructions manual, three decks of cards. I think two of the decks are the trick cards and one is actually that you can just play with normally. Moving over here, uh, my father picked up a vintage uh, Pointer Sisters album. And here is the back of it, of the Pointer Sisters. And it's by, uh, let me see what record company. By uh, Blue Thumb Records, Inc. So we got that. And the record is in like dead mint condition. Moving over here are some books that my father or myself picked up. Uh, this one is uh, by Bog and C. Uh, this one is by uh, James Hilton. We are not alone. First edition. Here is um, a book by Mark Twain called Puddinhead Wilson. Here's another book. This one is The Life of Benvenuto Cellini. It's around um, the early 1900s. Some other um, small little pamphlets or books. Uh, this is actually a, a book of unused postcards that my father picked up. Um, here's a whole bunch of uh, mines in Maine. And uh, you'll see it has a layout of all these various mines in, in Maine, various maps, etc. Uh, this one is a Rockhound's Guide to Connecticut, like a little vintage manual. And uh, Mineral and Gem Trails in, uh, on the East Coast, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and Connecticut. Another little uh, like field manual. And then uh, this caught my eye, so I decided to pick it up. It's old, it's 1851. It says speeches by Mr. Webster. So this one here, I'll have to look up and see um, exactly what this might be able to sell for resale value. Uh, over here, I thought this was interesting to pick up. Uh, 40 documents of the Freedom Trail. So, here it just has uh, various historical documents. They're basically, they're reproductions. So you have in here like the Magna Carta, Declaration of Independence. So various documents from U.S. history. And then last was, I decided to pick these up. I got 38 sealed issues of antiques, 
uh, Antiques Magazine, or it's actually called the Magazine Antiques. Uh, one Art News one right here, which has Pablo Picasso on the back cover. And then um, I picked up Art and Antiques, um, and these are all completely sealed. And here is a perfect example of what one looks like. Uh, this is probably my favorite one I picked up today, is uh, this one here, because it has a Roy Lichtenstein cover on the front, and I love his pop art work. I'm a big fan of like Andy Warhol and Roy Lichtenstein pop art. So overall, uh, I think we had a pretty good day at picking stuff, and we'll figure out what we'll end up reselling on eBay. And uh, if anything is of great value, we'll see how that turns out. But uh, very happy to pick up these magazines because every single one here that I got is completely new sealed in the bag. So these will be very easy to resell and list. And I'll just have to figure out what I'll start these magazines off at. Anyway, you can find me on eBay, my store, Treasures in My Home. I'm on Instagram as eBayMan David, and you can follow me on Twitter as eBay underscore man. Thanks for watching.